Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new vlog and happy new year. This is the first vlog of the year. I do want to do a couple of like sit down videos, so I'm not really sure what will be first, but I was home back in Georgia for a while and now I'm back in Austin and it feels so good to just like be back in my own space, have my things where they're supposed to be, get back into a routine. I'll go more in depth about what I'm trying to do for like my mornings and just like my routine in general. Yesterday I went to Central Market. I did a little treat myself grocery shopping day just to like fill up the fridge. There were a couple things that I need to go back to like a normal grocery store, but I kind of want to go to Trader Joe's. Maybe I should just like wait till next week, but we'll see. But this is the Momofuku Chili Crunch. And um, this girl on TikTok, her name's Danielle. She like is making caviar <laughs> really popular right now. Um, she puts this on a lot of like snacky foods and it says on the bottle that it's really good with eggs and that sounded really great so i'm gonna eat this for breakfast i might just add a little bit of prosciutto on the side um so just have some here and then i made a new smoothie recipe that i found on tiktok it's very interesting i will say um because it said to add like oats i don't know if i love that texture so i might just do it without the oats next time but it's peanut butter frozen blueberries i did frozen bananas because the bananas that i got yesterday are not ripe yet um chia seeds did i see did i say peanut butter milk obviously and it's not bad it's not bad very peanut buttery but i could probably take that out too i'm planning on catching you guys up in a chatty video i want to talk about like my new year's resolutions and all that and go really in depth about that um but basically i just want to again get back in my routine and then also just like get back on that healthy grind tonight i'm going to the grand opening of fogo de chao here in austin my family went when i was super little in atlanta and i remember it being heaven on earth because it's like unlimited meat it's a brazilian steakhouse and it's so good so i'm very very excited i'm taking my friend shireen i'm also excited to get out of the house today because i came home tuesday at noon and other than going to the grocery store yesterday i haven't really like left my house seen my friends so it'll be nice to like you know get some human interaction also sophie is still with ryan in atlanta um i took her to atlanta during thanksgiving kept her there because i was going to go back during december um and then she's just gonna be there until Ryan can bring her back the next time he comes. I honestly was just a little bit nervous being alone, traveling with her um, and having three big suitcases. I just imagined myself being so flustered. Um, and then also I'm going to Dallas next weekend for my friend's birthday trip. I haven't decided if I'm gonna vlog it or not. So let me know if you guys would be interested in like Dallas content. All I know is that we got a reservation for Carbone and they just opened in Dallas. I've never been to Carbone. I'm so freaking excited, which reminds me today, I need to order some new outfits on fashion pass i'm still doing the fashion pass renting my clothes situation i don't know if i'm going to cancel it but i am trying to just like buy less in general this year so maybe it's a good thing if i keep it because then that will kind of satisfy that craving of getting something new and just like you know i don't really care if i have to send it back because i just want to wear it once for like you know an event or whatever i touched up my hair and did my makeup because today is a filming day um it is currently 2 15 p.m and basically i've just been um taking a look at my content list last year i got a subscription for notion if you guys don't know what notion is it's kind of this note taking app on steroids because you can have like all these different tabs and then like five tabs in the tabs and it's just like crazy how organized you can get with it and honestly i haven't taken full advantage because i really knew like sit down and watch some youtube tutorials i know they have like so many templates that you can actually purchase on etsy that people make um and you can like download and, and put all your information i might do that but for now i'm just really using it as somewhere to put just all my ideas and kind of just do all my lists there because i feel like last year i would take down notes in my text my notes app on my phone and notion and i oh and google docs i i feel like there's so many other places i just have random content ideas and they're not all in the same place so then it's just like so hard for me to like find them or you get the gist 
Um, so I decided this year I'm just always going to use Notion and I also am trying to get my name out there on TikTok for my photography business and I think it's working because a lot of DMs of people inquiring about sessions say that they've found me on TikTok which honestly it hasn't been like too too long that I've been on there so that makes me so happy that it's working. It does kind of suck though because I feel like I'm already overwhelmed with my own social media and having to do like YouTube, well not having to, getting to do YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and all that, it just like feels like so much that you always have to be keeping up with the trends and everything like that. And now I'm kind of adding the photography TikTok in the mix and it's just kind of like double the content creation. So that's why I want to be as organized as possible. Um, and I've just been having a little snack. I bought these a while ago, but I love these nuts. They're the truffle Marcona almonds from Trader Joe's. Just wanted something a little bit salty. It is 2 p.m. and I have a lot of packages that I need to get for my apartment lockers because yesterday they sent me an email that they were gonna send it back to the sender. And I was like, oh God, I really need to get those. So I have a very, very exciting package. On my 2022 dream brands list was of course Revolve. Like I feel like everyone wants to work with them. And they emailed me, I think it was like in November and I finally like picked out my selects and all of that. And so they are here. I wanna try them on for you guys. I'm really excited about the things I picked out. So let's go get my packages. Here are the remnants of me unpacking for the last three days. It's just really technology and just random shit that I have to put away, but I got all my packages and it's mostly Ryan's Christmas gifts to me because I think he sent a lot of them home um, so I didn't have to like bring them back which was very nice because I think I asked for like glassware and obviously that would not be fun to take on the plane um, and then I got some PR stuff so I'll share it with you guys but I think I'm gonna make a TikTok like unboxing everything so once it's unboxed I'll do a little haul. I just unboxed everything and I want to just pick out like a couple items to show you guys and starting off with the gifts that Ryan got me for Christmas. Everything's from Amazon because I didn't know what to ask for so I literally just went on like so many random Amazon storefronts and just like picked out a few things that I was like I wouldn't really buy myself it but I would love to have it. Starting off with this beautiful candle. This is what it looks like. I've seen this on Amazon before and it is this brand right here. The scent is Passion Fruit Peony. I'm not really sure how you say that. Peony? Peony? I don't even know. It smells really good, but honestly, the last time I fell in love with a candle, just sniffing it while it wasn't, like, you know, lit, I lit it the next day and got a huge headache. I'm a little nervous to light it because I feel like I'm being a little sensitive these days. And then I asked for some white truffle oil. This is the brand and I just needed more because I think mine is just so old and probably on its last leg. So just got some more of this. I cannot believe this is from Amazon. It looks like it's from like an Etsy seller. It's so cute. Very Matilda Jerf vibes. And I believe it comes in other colors, but I just want to be like a nighttime tea gal. Just imagining myself with my sleepy time tea and some honey and lemon such a vibe. I also asked for these candles because the last ones I bought of these were like a four pack and they're like already to the nub so I just wanted more. I just love the vibe that this gives off and I have like holders for it so I'm hoping that these fit because I noticed that some are thicker than others so I might have to get like new ones but they're so cute and just like neutral colors but I love putting them on when people come over. I recently found out about this but this is a sensor cleaning kit for your camera and Lord knows I need this, so I'm gonna clean my camera tonight and hopefully I can use it on lenses too because my lenses need it bad. And then I actually got some press-ons on Amazon. I'm kind of nervous to try them out just because I feel like I've tried out a couple and these were really cheap and you know, usually the cheaper ones don't do so well, but I'm willing to try them out. So I got these ones, which are neutral with blue French tips and just like some milky white neutrals. Um, these are Gel X currently, and they are not looking so hot. They've grown out kind of a good amount, and I thought, might as well do some press-ons. Let me clean up the boxes in here because it got really messy really fast. And then we're going to do my first ever Revolve try-on haul. I'm so freaking pumped. You guys, this is a big moment for me. I can't wait to unbox my package, so I'm going to hurry up. 
I truly never thought this day would come as much as I hoped it would, but it's here and I'm doing a Revolve haul and Revolve gifted me these items. So I'm gonna try them on for you guys and let you guys know the sizing and everything like that. I'm pretty sure I got everything in a size large. If I got something different, I'll put it on the screen. As always, the links will be in the description as well as on my Revolve favorites. So let's get started. So we have this cute little green long sleeve shirt. I feel like all of these pieces are going to be so perfect for my little Dallas girls trip so really pumped to wear them for that. It has this unique detail of like having it point down like an arrow. And the back is just kind of like straight. It is kind of short in the back but you can't really see my bra. Isn't it crazy that the next holiday is Valentine's Day? I've been seeing like random like little DIY TikToks and I'm like I feel like we just like got done with the holidays. Anyways, what made me thought of that is this color green would be perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Love the details on this top. Also, it's like super thick, not like in a gonna make you really hot way, but just like a ribbed kind of thickness, which I love. And yesterday I found out what my colors were. You can like download this um, app that tells you exactly what your colors are. I've just been seeing it a lot on TikTok. And I found out I was a deep autumn, so I'm pretty sure this color is definitely like a deep autumn color. So that kind of works out perfectly. This is me going outside my comfort zone a little bit with the, you know, hot pink. But the fit of it is so flattering. It's not even like super thick, but it's just very, very flattering. And I love the little collar detail. I love the color of this sweater and I also am obsessed with the way it's structured because we have these balloon sleeves. We also have this like tighter part right here. So if you bring it up, you can kind of like poof it out. I am a sucker for anything one shouldered and this top is a bodysuit. I know I'm gonna get such good use out of this during the springtime and honestly the other day it was like 70 here so I could probably wear this like now. Next up is this black turtleneck and I feel like all my turtlenecks are bodysuits and I just kind of wanted to switch it up because not every day do you want to wear a bodysuit and deal with the peeing and stuff so I'm just deciding whether I need to like fold this or not. The quality is amazing on this. It actually has like a cool ribbed design on the top. Next up we have a skirt and it's actually a skirt. The shorts in the back. I feel like this is a little wide. I still think it's so cute. The material is so thick though. I feel like it's like snatching me in. I need to do some Pinteresting to see how I could like wear this but I'm thinking Kind of more of an oversized sweater and like layering it on top. Last but not least is this cardigan and this one is an XL. So I didn't get this in a large. Kind of just want it to be a little bit oversized. And how cute is this? It came folded up and it's stitched, I guess. You can't roll it down, which is so cute. Like I said, I'm going to have everything linked down below. It is such a huge dream of mine to be even like talking to Revolve. I cannot wrap my mind around it, but honestly, this is just like the start of it all because I feel like this year it's going to be a good one. It is currently 535 and ever since I ate that egg with the chili oil, I've been craving the chili oil. So we're going to do some tomatoes and just kind of put it on top. I'm not really even sure if like it should go on tomatoes, but I am just like craving a little salty snack. That looks like a murder scene. <laughs> I feel very productive. I did a lot of filming today for, like I said, my photo account TikTok and my own TikTok. Yesterday, I put some flaky salt on my tomatoes. I'm pretty sure I got this flaky salt on Amazon. I don't want to eat something too heavy because we'll be eating right at 7.45. And I want to take advantage because this is a grand opening slash like influencer foodie event. Honestly, I don't even know how I've gotten invited to so many foodie events here in Austin. But let me just thank the Lord because I love them. Like they're so fun to try new food and also see other like content creators. I got my mesh tea trench coat on. I have this like, oh, I forgot I buttoned it. <laughs> um, this like maxi dress on with like shoulder pads it's really cute and then my amazon boots that i love i don't think i showed these on vlog that is the outfit i have been kind of just editing tiktoks this whole time i'm running a little bit late i'm supposed to be out the door and in my car already but um i'm going to head that way and i'm so excited for dinner i'm hungry i'm ready to eat i'm with my hot date look how freaking good she looks like Thank hello you. About to eat my weight in me <laughs> yes, literally. So we're going to Fogo the Chapel. Yeah, apparently in the Austonian too. Yeah, I haven't been there. Me neither. I'm excited. Let's check it out. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. So we're sitting out. 
outside. Very romantic date. Honestly, this might be like the fanciest restaurant I've been to in Austin. It just feels like it. They literally took my jacket off. Like, I didn't have to lift a finger. And so they have this thing called the market table, and it's insane. Like, I thought it was just gonna be like a salad like line. Like, I thought it was just a salad. Guys, there's like every food I ever loved. Like, beets, like mozzarella and tomatoes, street corn, eggplant, mushrooms, prosciutto. Forks are eating things. <laughs> and he brought us out cocktails, and then also the guy was like, do you guys want red wine? And we were like, we'll just have like a glass to share. He brought us two. Yes, please. Yes? Yes. You're like, we need to ask for like fresh plates. Because <laughs> it's just like too much. But we got filet mignon and ribeye. And I think I like the ribeye better. But like, holy shit. Oh, it's just so good. It's Amazing. So good, yeah. Okay, now we have the A5. And apparently they feed it beer while it's living. Very interesting. Aged for 22 days. They treat it really nicely, they said. Yes. So we love a sustainable. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is the chimichurri. I'm guessing those are mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes and then, I don't know what this is, sausage? Wait. Or is it banana? It looks like banana. Oh my gosh. If it's banana, I'm gonna... <gasps> I don't know why they're paired with rice. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Okay, we got some dessert. Delicious. Oh, yeah. So and then chocolate cake or cheesecake? Chocolate Something. cheesecake. I'm so stuffed. <laughs> I'm like, I'm hurting. We got this. We got this. We just got done at dinner. They gave us a wine. It's the gift that keeps giving. We also <laughs> got a gift card for a free dinner at any time. This is probably one of the best, like, influencer grand opening dinner things because I've, I've been to a couple and I think I was saying this before. I don't know why I keep getting invited to the foodie events, but I'm very happy. The best part about these events is seeing my content creator friends. Oh, hi. <laughs> I brought my Amazon light. Where did it go? I have it. I have it. Oh, okay. Look how good it is. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. No, it Look actually at that. is so good. Okay, it's better on the iPhone because it like, you know, this is manual. It is the next day, Friday, January 6th, and I've had quite the morning. I just was dealing with stuff that I hate dealing with, aka anything with the state government, car shit. Oh my god, it's so freaking annoying. Basically, I um, came back from my workout and I opened some mail up and I saw that I owed some um, money for like tolls. I called them to see what it was about because this whole time I thought my account was on auto pay with the Texas tag. Apparently, I didn't even change my new license plate because it was my Georgia license plate for so long because like I had only registered my car here like last year in April and I've like lived here since 2019. Oops. I guess it didn't register in my mind that after you register your car, you have to switch the license plate number on the text tag. So I've been racking up some tolls on my newest license plate. It's just so weird though because I feel like why have I never gotten a piece of mail before this? And I literally owed 500 something dollars with like a little bit of late fees. I asked them to like take off the late fees and they only took off 40. It's something, but lesson learned, always update your shit. Adulting is hard because there's just so much to keep up with. I wish there was like adulting videos for every scenario that you have to go through for the first time. And like, like someone sitting down and saying, okay, you register your car now, just don't forget to change your license plate. <laughs> anyway, so that all happened and then I had to call text tag to apparently make a new account because like they kind of like wiped everyone's account. So I had to like make a new username, which wasn't a big deal, but then I had to like pay them because there was like some fee on that account. Oh, because my card had it actually expired. It's whatever shit happens, lesson learned. But the fact that it took so much time out of my day, I'm just like, eh. I was trying to have a productive day which it still can be productive because it's only noon and I have a lot of editing to do and I also want to do a lot of filming today um, which means I have to get ready and the sun is like really bothering me that it's coming in and out, in and out. I just made some chai because I feel like that whole situation just drained my energy so much. But good news and very exciting news is that I've decided to get more plastic surgery. It's something super minimal but I decided to get it because I feel like I'm just a little bit insecure and I'm going to get my earlobe stitched up because this earlobe specifically is like a whole ass line. Like it is not just a hole. It's been a thought in my mind for kind of a few months now that I feel like maybe it's time to stitch that bad boy up and like get it re-pierced. 
Um, I feel like this year isn't that bad, but I tried to get a quote over the phone. She was very vague, so I'm gonna go to the consultation and just like get all the quotes and everything like that. It is a plastic surgery place, I believe. So um, during my consultation, I can talk about anything and everything that I would want to get done, which is not that much, but I will say that another one of my biggest insecurities is my nose. I feel like at certain angles, it is like the perfect nose. And then at this one specific angle, it's so curved. Like it literally curves when I smile and it just like pisses me off. You can barely tell when I'm not wearing makeup, but when I am wearing makeup, it's very noticeable. And I wonder if there's like a way for filler to fix that. Cause like, I don't really want to get like a full on nose job. Like it's really not that serious. I am very interested to see if filler could fix that. Cause I feel like filler is just making everyone's noses look insane and amazing. My consultation's next Tuesday and I'll try to take you guys along and just a disclaimer that I'm not trying to get like so much plastic surgery and I really don't love the fake look that everyone kind of looks the same these days. I mean, I did get veneers, but honestly, this has changed my confidence so much, you guys. Like, I can't even describe it. I'm in love with my new teeth and so, so happy that I did this. And then the other thing I got done was a breast reduction. I mean, enough said right there. I would never look back. And I encourage everyone who needs it, wants it, is able to get it done, like to do it because it is just like really life-changing. Honestly, I wish it went smaller, but that's a story for another day. And I have videos on both the breast reduction and the veneer. So if you guys want to go check those out, you can definitely do that. Later tonight at 7 p.m., I have my two friends wig birthday party. They're doing like a combined birthday and i don't know what i'm gonna wear tonight i do have a wig shout out to my sister i went home and i was like i have a wig party and she was like i literally have a bin of wigs and i was like okay great amazing i didn't have to spend money on that so i have like a hot pink wig which i honestly don't love the way wigs feel so i might just like wear it for the pregame and like i don't know we'll we'll see what the situation is and then i was thinking like i did my hair last night in the heatless curls and they're not even gonna show because <laughs> the wig's gonna cover it. And I was like, great. My apartment is currently a disaster and I definitely want to clean it before I go out tonight. That'll just make me feel so much better. Um, so I don't have to deal with it tomorrow in case, you know, I'm a little bit hungover. And then I have to film some content for a brand. I need to edit that content and then another piece of content for a brand that I've already like filmed and stuff. And I wanted to film like a little chatty like car video. I think I talked about it yesterday. I don't know if I'll have time today. I just feel like time goes so fast. I just feel like editing and all of that takes so much more time than I think it does. And then I'm like, oh my God, I was supposed to do so much today. Where did the time go? So I'm gonna get on it and talk to you guys in a bit. I went full glam today because I'm going out later tonight, but it was kind of weird because I like filmed an ad and I'm just like, eh, a little too much makeup for like an everyday ad. I did add like some false lashes on the ends. I didn't do like the full strip. I feel like they actually do make a little bit of a difference. I did everything I needed to do with all the campaigns. So it was just like two campaigns. I filmed one, um, submitted everything, and then I just had to like edit the other one and like submit it so everything's done for today i was trying really hard to think of like a present and then i was like oh we'll just get them a nail salon gift card so that they can get like a manicure or something on me and i've heard of this place called coffee and nails i want to say they've already been there and i think that they said they liked it i dm didn't ask the place if they could do like online gift cards but they said i would have to buy it in person which is fine i guess because then i could have the physical card i feel like it's just more exciting to like open it physically in person instead of like getting an email or something like that but I'm also going to try to film a little life update. I feel like I've been saying that for the past few days. And I'll also talk about my New Year's resolutions in that video. Got the goods, got the gift cards, and now I'm just going to make a little salad. I have a really bad habit on filming days where I don't eat enough throughout the day, like I'll forget to have lunch, but I did have like a little snack. I just feel like it wasn't really sufficient enough. I have a little bit of a headache now and I feel like it's because I didn't really eat anything like great. Um, 
And then also, like, I was trying to drink water today, but maybe I didn't even have enough water. I don't know. I love this hack for cutting tomatoes. Just, like, put something flat on top, press it down, and then just cut them in half. It'll probably work out better with a, um, like, longer knife, but that will do i feel like when i was home back in georgia i was not really drinking a whole ton and i'm kind of dreading drinking tonight not gonna lie i brought out like the tequila just to see how much i had left and i was like oh <laughs> it just does not sound lovely to be drunk so we'll see how crazy i get i feel like i'm just gonna stick to like Maybe like a seltzer and maybe two shots. When I was home, my mom made me a salad with this like poppy seed dressing. And I was looking everywhere in Central Market for it, but I could not find it. So I got like a lemon one. And then I also have this like balsamic vinegar, vinaigrette. Um, and I'm kind of feeling something sweet right now. So I'm going to do the balsamic. And it's just like a bunch of like random things in here. Tomatoes, cucumbers, spinach, bell peppers, and maybe I'll add blueberries and avocado. I don't know. I just feel like I need a lot of nutrients right now before tonight. Also, it's a good day to wear a wig because my hair is actually not looking too hot. I maybe should have washed it last night and I did not really get the memo. We're going simple tonight. I'm doing all black. I'm a little bloated down here because I feel like I might be getting my period tomorrow. So these jeans are just really holding it in, which is nice. But this is the wig that I'm gonna wear tonight. I literally don't know how to do my hair under it. So that'll be interesting. I think I'm just gonna like put it in a bun. So that way if I like get really annoyed with this wig, I can just take the bun off and wear that. Also this wig has bangs. Which is probably better, like, for the hairline to, like, look real. I mean, this is not going to look real, but um, I feel like I just hate things in my face. I couldn't put my hair in a bun, like a low bun, because it was, like, sticking out and it's too short. And the bun would have definitely showed. But I literally just clipped my hair up here and hopefully it stays. I don't know why I was such a hater on black clothing for so long. But it's just, like, so basic and just looks really cool. Like, kind of cool girl vibes. Um, and I'm gonna pack my purse. I got the gift cards to bring and I should probably head out the door But I feel like the salad like it was good But I feel like I need a little bit more especially because I'm gonna be drinking tonight. So I might bring a snack of some sort Happy Saturday. I'm not showing myself because I look disgusting right now, but I've been in bed and it's just about to turn noon. And Ryan texted me this. Oh my God, Ryan. <laughs> it is 1 p.m. I just showered and honestly, I wasn't that hungover this morning. Like it really was not anything crazy and serious, but I just didn't have a reason to get out of bed and I was just taking advantage because these past three days um i am trying to like wake up at 7 30 every day every day meaning the weekdays probably i think i'm gonna just do weekday workouts um but yeah i kind of just wanted to sleep in i have not yet put my flowers in a vase but that was so sweet of ryan i'm really sad that we're not together today but i just saw him in georgia i was there for so long and we had like a little anniversary dinner there, but we're planning the next time we'll see each other and that'll probably be soon too. So, I mean, I feel like this long distance thing is so much different than when we were in college because we did long distance for four years in college. And obviously we had very limited money because we weren't like really 
working. We're able to see each other a lot more and I feel like I'm seeing him like every single month. <laughs> If not more than that. Last night was really fun. We did a little wig party you guys saw and I brought my Amazon light that I had the previous night at Fogo and literally everyone was obsessed with it. Apparently it's sold out on Amazon. I'll try to find the link if it isn't just in case when this video goes up they like restock or whatever but it is like so freaking good. And I've had it for a couple months, I just like haven't really used it. And it really is a game changer for like TikToks and just like videos and pictures and everything like that. I'm currently stepping on two liquids for hydration, water and some liquid IV. And I need to make myself some food. I'm thinking I'm gonna do like eggs with that chili crunch. It's so good and I am obsessed with it. I feel like I wanna put it on every single meal that I make. Um, but yesterday I said I wanted to like clean my apartment before I went out. That did not happen. Um, so we're gonna try to do that today. I also wanna just do like a lot of self care today. I want to laminate my own eyebrows. I have an Amazon kit and basically I try to do it like every other time. Or like if I'm going on vacation, I'll try to get my eyebrows like actually done because they like shape them really nicely and I don't know how to do that. But I know how to just like put the lamination on and like stick them up. Since I just got them done in December, I thought I would go ahead and do them myself this month and then my nails are really not cute, so I think I'm going to try to take my Gel X off at home. It's just like a lot of self-care stuff. I also want to like edit a video today and just edit a lot of things because I feel like I am filming a lot of content and then like forgetting I have the content because I don't edit it right away. So then I like don't post it and sometimes it becomes irrelevant and then I'm just like, why did I spend my time filming that? So I need to get better about that in the new year. But anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my liquid IV and start like picking up the place. I just put on this comfy, comfy set from Be Try It. It is so stretchy and like thick, but like so, so comfy. I forgot about this one. The pattern is giving bikini bottoms for sure. Here are the flowers. I just tried to arrange them and I don't know why. It actually looks way better on camera than it does in real life. It should not be a florist, but it is fun to kind of like arrange them and it makes my apartment look so fresh. I started to get hungry, so I made a little snack for myself. I decided to Dyson air wrap my hair. It's like already falling out, but honestly, it just feels nice to have a fresh, clean blowout. My bangs are the best part because they're so fluffy. I feel like there's not much YouTube right now that I want to watch, so I'm probably just going to watch some Bridgerton. I'm very behind on this, but I remember people going insane for season two, especially because like the main actors are Indian, and I wanted to watch it, but I started watching season one, and then I like told someone about it, and then they were like, I don't think you really have to watch season one to watch season two, although I feel like now that I've watched episode one and two of season two, I have been a little confused. Like, I wish I had someone with me that's watched it before so they could just like give me a little recap of season one and you know tell me like what are they talking about sometimes but i don't know it's hard to get into and i also have to have the subtitles on so then i have to like actually pay attention which usually when i'm watching a show i am like scrolling and like mindlessly watching but i'm going to enjoy my popcorn chill on the couch i wanted to edit a video today but honestly it's Saturday, like I need to be better about that this year. Like actually using my weekends to be my weekends and just like, you know, cranking it out on the weekdays. I think today I'm gonna have a day off and then tomorrow I have a shoot and I'll probably edit a lot. Mm -hmm. 